Hi students, hope you all are doing good. Uh, I know I have come on my channel after a really a long time and I couldn't make any videos this year. So hopefully I'll be back soon in action. Uh, meanwhile, as you all might be aware that the recently the council has given the reduced syllabus for physics. So just like last year, we will do a comparison of whatever is the reduced and the, the old syllabus. Um, of course, this is the first version of the video. If at all the council reduces the syllabus further, then I might make one more video of this. Uh, so when you are seeing this video, after this part of the introductory part of my video, it will be a comparison, a PPT kind of video. If you have seen my last year's video, you all might be able to understand uh, what is the upcoming part and uh, keep your physics selena textbook ready with you all so that i'll be also telling you all whatever part has to be removed scratched off so that you also you can keep it ready so do watch the video till the end and do comment like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much okay so let's quickly get on in understanding the reduced syllabus for grade 10 icsc physics for the upcoming academic year 2021-2022. Uh, so if you all can see in the mechanics, uh, the first three chapters, force, work energy, power and machines. Uh, so in this, the force part, almost everything is kept as it is. So as such, there is no any reduced part in it. Uh, so here you will have to mainly focus on uh, clockwise moments, anti-clockwise moments the numericals related to it, then the center of gravity of different geometrical shapes, uh, then in uniform circular motion, the difference between centrifugal, centripetal, uh, then the coming to the next second chapter, work energy power, here the different definitions, the uh, SI and CGS units, uh, different types of energy. Over here we have the energy conversions, so you need to understand how the energy convergence is taking place um, and actually there is a third part also which is uh, as per the syllabus given in the next part of year and uh, in between this particular machine part comes so with the third chapter machines if you all can see uh, children the lever parts is completely removed so if you're in if you have your textbook right now with you all so 3.5 Se jo chalu ho raha hai, levers ka part, okay? So in the A part, all you need to understand what is load. So all the technical terms, you will have to definitely do them, okay? That is MAVR, uh, MAVR uh, then uh, efficiency, principle of a machine, actual machine, all those things, uh, then ideal machine, all those things you will have to do. The, the, the relation between MA, uh, VR and efficiency will be rahega. And then levers part, you all can cancel it out completely. Us part ko aap pura delete kar sakte ho. Agar aapke paas abhi textbook hai, to usko strike off kar do 3.5, 3.6. So jisme class 1, class 2, class 3 levers hai. And then 3.7. Also that part you all can delete it. Okay. Uh, then fir usi se related jo numericals hai. So hardly we are left with any numericals. So even the A part numericals also... Uh, might not will not be asked of course there can be a very simple very very simple questions which are there in the solved part if you all can see solved first question solved examples make pehla question hai so that kind of that type of questions may be asked okay so again so numericals are all deleted um, then let's come to the pulley part now so in the pulley part if you all can see the starting part of the pulley, the MA, VR of the single fixed pulley and the single movable pulley, uh, that will be very much asked uh, children. Then the distinguish between single fixed and single movable pulley. And in the combination of pulleys, you all, if you all can see there are two parts using one fixed pulley and one uh, another movable and then there is something called as block and tackle. So that first part was never there, okay? But for understanding, it's a very interesting concept. You all definitely can uh, uh, learn that. Uh, then over here, um, then block and tackle for five pulley system, black and tackle uh, for 
a block and tackle for four pulley system very important concept children and again that last part effect of weight on pulleys on ma vr and efficiency that part is again removed not there in the syllabus uh, all the numericals are very important uh, very uh, uh, have, most of the questions can be asked from these ex uh, from this exercise as far as the pulleys is concerned so you all can definitely do this uh, then principle and conservation of energy as i already mentioned uh, this this particular part is the third part of second chapter so syllabus mein thoda sa wo upar niche ho gaya hai so yahan pe statement of uh, conservation of energy theoretical verification what do you mean by theoretical verification that derivation in that um, kinetic energy plus potential energy remains constant okay that you will have to show so that is again very important children uh, that derivation and then uh, the graph of the pendulum how the ke changes to p that graph is also asked so uh, maybe observe the graph and that kind of questions um, can be asked to your application based ones okay so go ahead then we come to the light section in light section again we have three chapters refraction of light through plane surfaces refraction through lenses and third is the spectrum okay so in this again in the first chapter refraction of light through plane surfaces a part may if you all can come at the extreme last part that is 4.7 multiple images in a thick uh, glass plate or a thick mirror so again that's a very small part has been removed okay then here then rest of the prism and all those things will be there the b part is there c part real depth apparent depth all those things are there numericals can be asked to y'all then simple uh, numericals related to it applications of for refraction of light then tir tir is very important children don't miss it in any case study it very nicely uh so this is all about prisms how the tir takes place in the different types of prisms all the part is very much there then refraction through lenses again here the a part all the things are there b part again entire thing is there uh, only here in the as far as the numericals are concerned uh, so in that power of lens so jahan pe power of lens ka formula hai 1 upon f okay those numericals have been re removed okay and uh, oh, you will be asked to draw the diagrams uh, so of course they are not uh, they are not no need to draw them on a graph you can draw them on a page and again uh, to the scale drawing is not needed you all can draw uh, rough by taking any of your own um, distance you can definitely do that okay so lens formula Mm, then if you see the d part magnifying glass and application of lenses all that uh, magnifying power m is equal to 1 plus d upon f all those things are not there so in from this particular part you need to understand only the um, what do you mean by a magnifying glass uh, the corresponding ray diagram for it and then the last part uh, rather the second last part application of lenses again of auxiliary method and all those things again are not there uh, again the last part small distinguish between convex and concave lens that can be definitely be asked uh so you all can see this over here uh, triangular prism application of lenses all these things we have already discussed uh yeah now let's come to the spectrum a uh, spectrum a part yeah a part deviation produced by the triangular prism and all these things will be definitely there for you all very important discussion and then very simple numericals are there uh, then the b part electromagnetic spectrum and its classification there are different uh, electromagnetic uh, spectrums the uh, electromagnetic waves that has been given so in that you need to focus more on ultraviolet and infrared okay so children please i am repeating myself ultraviolet radiations and infrared radiations you will have to uh, us part ko aapko acche se karna padega then the c part scattering of light usko aap pura cancel kar dijiye again all that entire part has been removed okay now let's come to chapter number 7 uh, sound waves again a part entirely 
entire thing is there okay you will have the numericals related to it then natural vibrations damped vibrations resonance a very very important concept children uh, loudness and pitch the c part mein aa jao sab log uh, the c part over here ha uh, in this particular thing only definitions of each of the characteristics that is loudness pitch and the timber to ye sirf iske definitions rahenge um all those subjective nature of loudness and objective nature then that graph all that parts you all are your factors affecting the loudness relation between loudness all this part you can just strike it off then subjective nature of pitch and objective nature all that part is not there music and noise ka distinguish between wo bhi nahi rahega uh ek wahan pe chhota sa table hai dears if you all can see characteristics and factor wo wo us part ko acche se kar lena okay loudness depends on amplitude pitch depends on frequency and timber or quality depends upon the waveform so that is again important um let's come to the electricity and magnetism section uh the current electricity part uh here if you all can see directly come to the in the a part experimental verification 8.6 okay that part has been uh, removed completely rest all things will be definitely there for you all uh then it's a very if you see the b part is very uh, simple uh, it has uh, the concept of emf which is very important which you all will have to understand properly then internal resistance and the combination of resistors and combination of resistors also very difficult uh, combinations will not be asked uh, very simple ones simple networks not more than four uh, resistors will be asked to you all okay so then let us uh, quickly come to the just a minute electrical energy and power uh, so again this entire section will be there very important numericals are there for, from these this particular part so you need to go through it very properly then let's come to the second uh, chapter that is uh, of the electricity magnetism that is chapter number 9 household circuits uh, so in household circuits all the uh, starting part and this uh, this thing house wiring and all uh, you will not be asked in detail diagrammatic representation they, it will not be asked uh, but you need to understand what is it advantages of connecting the appliances in parallel uh, safety precautions color coding kya hai fuse kya hai okay ye sab cheeze bahut important hai fuse why if a reason for connecting the fuse in the live wire only all these things can be asked in the give reasons uh switches how switches plays an important role uh staircase wala jo hai 9.6 that you can strike it off that part has again completely been removed earthing is important three pin plug in socket all those things then uh, color coding can be asked the new as well as the old okay again a very uh, favorite question of the examiner children safety precautions is very simple there are no any numericals in this okay so that's all about that so here we have already discussed all this main switch advantages three pin plug socket conventional color coding okay magnetic effects of current that is chapter number 10 electromagnetism is back this time it was not there in the last year of pandemic uh, but again children you need not worry it is not the entire chapter there there are many deletions in this part also so in the a part orster experiment will be there that is 10.1 then 10.2 magnetic field and field lines due to the current in a straight wire that is there in a then in the right hand thumb rule will be there magnetic field due to a current in a loop or a circular coil that is there then 10.5 solenoid that you all completely strike it off that part is not there then directly we will jump to electromagnet comparison with the uh, over there how the uh, current uh, i shaped electromagnet and u shaped electromagnet then this particular one question is very important ways of increasing the magnetic field of an electromagnet another very favorite question of the examiner children comparison of electromagnetic permanent magnet that is very important advantages and uses and again uh, electric bell is not that important because we have been studying this from quite some time now then directly come to the b part here in the b part or uh, definitely the first part it is force acting on a current carrying coil in a magnetic field that will be there 
uh, Fleming's left hand rule then the derivation and all that is not there over there Fleming's left hand rule will be there and simple DC motor 10.12 you are completely uh, you can strike it off that is not there uh, C part electromagnetic induction here introduction of electromagnetic induction will be there and the demonstration uh, how the magnet if the magnet is moved in in the solenoid and how the current gets induced figure 10.29 that particular observations are very important application based questions can be asked on that children and then Faraday's explanation Faraday's explanation and the Faraday's laws of uh, electromagnetic induction now you may wonder that it is not mentioned then why am I saying because uh, children see look at over here uh, for here it is written Fleming's right hand rule in its application in understanding the direction of current in the coil so this I have already spoken and Lenz's law so now if you see the years Lenz's law is nothing but an extension of the Faraday's law so if Faraday's law we will not study so, we have to study electro So, we will have to study electro, uh, Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. AC generator again working principle everything is deleted. So, you all can uh, straight away strike, uh, strike it off. Then directly come to 10.16 uh, over there. Uh, here it is written comparison of AC and DC. So, we need not have to take any chance. So, we all will better. We will study what is advantages of AC and DC. Um, uh, how uh, again AC generator DC motor that distinguish you all can forget advantages kya hai, difference kya hai, because comparison means it, it is a general term children so uh, we can uh, we will have to study that then 10.18 transformer was ko up pura strike off kar do, that entire part is not there now, luckily we do not have any numericals in this particular part and calorimetry entire part is there chapter is there as it is no any deletions in this in fact ye is bar ESL mein calorie metric part syllabus has been increased uh, the B part in the last year of pandemic the numericals were not there for the B part but this time latent heat numericals will also be very much there so if you all can see simple numerical problems common physical phenomenon involving latent heat of fusion so wo bhi is bar Hey, okay so then let's come to the last chapter children that is the radioactivity so in radioactivity the entire a part is there uh, atomic number what is atomic number atomic mass number isotopes iso bars and isotones okay then alpha beta gamma how the changes in the nucleus takes place on each and every emission those uh, particular questions uh, can be asked in question number 10 uh, most of the times it is asked uh, and here again children the entire B part that is a nuclear fission and fusion all that parts has been completely removed so uh, okay so here I would like to thank uh, Mrs. Kavaljit ma'am uh, the physics HOD who shared this PPT with us and uh, I could make the uh, make this video and uh, make you all understand what is the comparison uh, finally I thank you all for watching this video till the end still children if you all have any doubts and you are not understanding any particular part you may put it in the comment section uh, like the video comment and definitely subscribe to my channel thank you so much